Recently, we filmed a video called Five Steps to a Cleaner Bedroom, and that one did pretty well. So it got me thinking, where else could we do a five steps to a cleaner you know what? And I thought, you know, a bathroom is a pretty good place to start. Regardless of how messy or clean your bathroom is, here are five steps you can take to get a cleaner bathroom. Let's go. The first step you can take to keeping a cleaner bathroom is to have a little bathroom cleaning kit right there in your bathroom. A couple of reasons why. First of all, if you have it right there, you're gonna be a lot more likely to actually use it instead of having to run somewhere else and get it and then bring it to the bathroom. What a hassle. So if you have this little kit here, obviously you're more likely to use it. It's really important to maintain your sink and keep it clean pretty much at all times. It's quite simple to do. Take your microfiber cloth and a little bit of all-purpose cleaner, spritz your sink down, give it a quick wipe, do the same thing with your faucet, that way it will look nice and shiny. And then every time you walk into the bathroom, you're not seeing hair and toothpaste splatters in the sink, you're seeing something nice and clean and you feel like you just want to use it. And while we're on the topic of bathroom sinks, let's talk about that little area under the bathroom sink, which can get pretty out of control if you don't pay close attention to it. I know before I started all this, mine was a total catch-all for shampoo I wasn't using anymore, free samples, all kinds of other stuff. Like who even knew what was in there? So it's really important to go in, clean it out, get rid of anything you're not using, find a good organization system where you can store all of your necessities, and of course, make a little space in there for your cleaning kit. That way it's sane, it's organized, and you don't feel overwhelmed by it. The last time I checked, showers don't come pre-installed with shelves, and for good reason. You don't need too much stuff in here. Do an evaluation of how many bottles and products and items you have in your shower, and if your shower seems to be completely overrun with them, you need to slim things down. Marry bottles of products that are almost empty. Toss stuff that you're not gonna use. Get rid of any duplicates. The idea is you wanna keep the area surrounding your shower clean and clear, because if you don't, that's where mold and mildew starts to build up. And not only that, like it just gets overwhelming to have that many bottles in your shower. So the key point here, get rid of extra stuff, get it out of your shower. Another thing you can do that's pretty high impact, although we don't see to think about it all that often is to launder your shower curtain, your shower curtain liner, your bath mat, which tends to get very unattractive after a while, and your bathroom rug. Those can all go into the washing machine. You can do them separately or you can do them together depending on the size of your washing machine and what it can handle. Use a gentle cycle, regular detergent, throw a towel in there to help scrub everything clean and hang everything to dry. Nothing goes in the dryer. The reason you wanna clean that is to remove any moisture buildup that would have led to mold or mildew as well as bacteria, which can lead to odors in your bathroom and nobody likes that. So once all of this is clean, it will really refresh your bathroom. It'll make you feel a lot better in there as well. Those five simple steps should get you on your way to a cleaner bathroom. Again, no matter how clean or messy it was to start. And we have tons of other videos which you can use as great resources to help clean your bathroom and maintain it on a regular basis. We will of course link that for you down below. This week's common question is what is the hardest thing in your bathroom to maintain? Let us know down there because we just might address it in a future video. Also remember to follow me on Instagram and tag me in any of your cleaning projects. I'm at Melissa Maker, the camera guy. He's at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Now, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And as I said, we have a lot of videos on bathroom cleaning. I have filmed more videos in my bathroom than I care to admit. The first one I want you to check out is a full-blown bathroom cleaning routine where I literally walk you through my entire bathroom and show you how to do everything from soup to nuts. So check that one out. And the second one is five nasty things in your bathroom. This might be a bit of an eye opener for you, but it's an important thing to know, so definitely check it out. Remember to check out our website as well. It is cleanmyspace.com. There will be a link down there for you. You can access all kinds of great cleaning information, and you can also sign up for our newsletter, The Dirty Dish. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.